right now we're gonna rig up some moonshine worm for Steny. This is my trace. Nice piece of moonshine worm. some more worm, give it some body. I'm just adding some more worm here. Oh, that's beautiful, right? Okay, the previous TNE was on blood worm. Uh, I just want to try the fresh moonshine worm that we pumped at Strandfontein Pavilion. Let's see if it works. Ooh, ho, ho. My daughters Mia and Minky. They here with a wall rotter today. Biscuit. Oh, hello, biscuit. This is biscuit. And, and this chip. is fluffy. What's that? Chalk chip. Chalk chip. Yeah. Okay. Hello, chalk chip. This is chalk chip. Yeah. And this is biscuit. Biscuit. All right. They're oh. visiting their dad today while we're fishing here. Maybe we can slide this one for a shark. No. Why not? But let's yeah. slide you for a shark. <laughs> Bloodworm. Make sure you bleed your bloodworm. You can see, see these little two tentacles. Oh, the one came off now. Just look at that. Beautiful bloodworm. So what I like to do is I like to cut off, cut off the tail piece. There we go. Okay. So just I just put some sand on the worm. This makes it much easier to rig through on your on your circle look. Okay. Take your time when you rig it through. Make sure that the point of the hook doesn't go through the worm. There we go. So once the tail is through, it's just like working your way all the way to the front of the the head part. If you pull too hard on the worm it will tear at the back. You don't want that. So rather take your time when rigging through your worm. Little by little. Bit by bit. If the hook does come out just just uh, like that. Just push it back and make sure Otherwise, it's just going to tear your worm. I'll show you now. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Almost there. To the tip. Just going to rinse it. Oh, look at this. Beautiful blood worm on a 4-0 eagle claw. Ready for a big steam rush. Just add two sand prawn to the side of the worm. You can either use your blood worm just like that or just add the sand prawn. Perfect for white stem rush. 
Big nose Granta. There we go. Prawn, bloodworm, 4-0, eagle claw, there you can see, nice and proud. Beautiful bait. Oh, white stem rus. Okay guys, just another thing is, if you throw for stem rus and the, it's a lot of sand crap in the water, you can just add a little float with a toothpick in, you can move it, just so your bait can lift up a bit move away from the crabs and you should be good to go look at all the small baby white muscle Tiny Mickey. oh Minky we're gonna put them back now yeah. wow baby ones yeah. so another good bait combination that you can use is your moonshine worm that you can combine with wonder worm so what I do is I usually just cut off the head of the wonder worm quick and easy bait just thread my wonder worm through Okay, just, just thread the one worm through. Just like that. Then I just add my moonshine worm on top of the wonder worm. Deadly, deadly bait. Basically any fish. Fishing for stennis. They will quickly pick this up. I'm using a 4-0 eagle claw circle hook. Guys, just look at this bait. Beautiful bait for white stem rust. Got a little float on top. There's crabs, you can see there's already marks on the float, so it means there's a lot of crabs in the water. So you just pull your float a little bit closer to the worm and it will lift it up from the bottom. Very good bait for white stem rust. You can never go wrong. Your moonshine worm and wonder worm bait combination hey guys always remember if you want to put in a good cast always clip your bait onto your sinker so it's nice and streamlined in the air when it goes it will unclip as soon as it hits the water because sometimes timorous they feed on a far bank and you want to you want to target them on the back bank let's do this Eagle claw, circle look. Some nice moonshine worm. So what I do is I first rig my moonshine worm through the hook. There we go. Okay, so first thread the moonshine worm through the hook and then you just add your prawn. Don't take the nippers off, the stennis, they just love it. Just put the prawn on the side of the moonshine worm and then tie down from bottom to top. 
Nice and neat bait for Stembras. White Stembras, pick those grunter. So this is your sand prawn and moonshine worm combination for white stem brush. There we go. Start off. Yeah, look at this beautiful bait for white stem brush. You can even catch a galloon or a white stump nose, whatever is on the bank. They will also take a beautiful bait for white stem brush.